Donald Trump has been making tariffs a major aspect of his economic policy, saying that if he's elected, he will put a tariff as high as 100% on China and 10% on the rest of the world, declaring that other countries will pay. But is this an accurate understanding of what tariffs are or how they work? What is a tariff? A tariff is just a tax on imported goods which are paid by whoever is doing the importing. To illustrate, this is Bob, who owns Bob's import and export business. He imports widgets from Widgetopia. When the ship from Widgetopia arrives, Bob has a shipping crate of widgets on it. Before he can take ownership of that crate, he has to pay the government the tariff. Technically, Bob is the one who pays the tariff. However, who ultimately plays the tariff depends largely on what Bob decides to do. There are three ways he can offset the cost. The first way, the exporter pays. Bob asks the exporter to lower the price so that when he adds the tariff, he pays the same amount. The second way is that the importer pays. This means that Bob just eats the loss. Finally, the consumer pays, and this is when Bob passes on the cost to the wholesaler, who passes it on to the store, who then passes it on to the consumer. Most of the time, the consumer pays. The end effect of tariffs is to raise consumer prices, which is exactly what they were primarily designed to do. So why have them? There are good reasons to have tariffs. One is to protect a specific domestic market you're trying to build up. For example, in the 70s, Taiwan used tariffs on calculators to protect its domestic market until they were manufacturing enough of them to export them, becoming the world's leader in the market. Another reason is to combat uneven trade practices, such as what we have with China. Ironically, Trump's misunderstanding of how tariffs work will probably result in the rest of the world placing tariffs on the U.S., and that will hurt America's exports, which could in turn mean a loss of American jobs. Overuse of tariffs can both push prices up for consumers while are also pushing unemployment up. Tariffs have their place, but they should be surgically applied. Donald Trump's stated policies demonstrate a lack of basic understanding that would make a second Trump term dangerous.